Arsenio Hall really was a groundbreaker in American TV. He was the first late night black TV host that really owned the genre. Born February 12, 1956 in Cleveland, Ohio, Arsenio Hall began his career as a stand-up comic. And in 1984, he became the announcer and sidekick to Alan Thicke on the talk show Thick of the Night. I think what made Arsenio special is that he was a funny guy, but he was also a nice guy. A lot of male comics at that time were like angry and, and kind of spouting off kind of this angry guy comedy, but he was a nice guy making funny jokes. After Joan Rivers left her position as host of Fox TV's The Late Show in 1987, Arsenio Hall made his mark as her successful replacement. Arsenio is lovable when you watch him on TV but he's also lovable in person. His smile is infectious and he's non-threatening. In 1988, Hall co-starred with Eddie Murphy in the box office hit Coming to America. And the next year he launched The Arsenio Hall Show as the first African-American late night talk show host. The thing that I did is, is, I've said this many times, instead of going after Carson, I went after everything he leaves over. The people that watch Johnny, I went after their kids. And uh, instead of competing with them, I just tried to find my own niche. When you think of Arsenio Hall, you think of <laughs> As the youngest, hippest talk show host on television, Hall became famous for his fist-pumping dog pound and his range of talented musical guests, including Bill Clinton, RuPaul, and Magic Johnson. Arsenio Hall really broke through in late night TV because he wasn't interested in having on the established artist. What he was interested in was bringing the up and comers, the groundbreaking people, onto TV. Hall's show received two nominations for Primetime Emmys. And in 1990, Hall won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Late Night Talk Show Host and also earned a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame the other talk shows at that particular time, I think were probably still more in the wheelhouse of stodgy and very white. And this has become a much more multicultural society now, and people like Arsenio, shows like that, helped usher in what we're seeing right now on TV and even on radio and even in dating. After leaving his talk show in 1994, Hall appeared on several television shows and won Donald Trump's Celebrity Apprentice in 2012. The following year, Hall made his television talk show comeback with his own syndicated late night show. It can be really hard to recreate the magic of a show that was a breakout hit, and that's exactly what the Arsenio Hall show was in the 90s. But he still got all that charm and talent, so I don't see any reason why he can't be a success today.